Hi everyone and thank you so much for joining me today on my second part of my environmental series. Today we'll be talking about plastic pollution. If I'm being honest I had never really thought about this issue until a few years ago. In primary school I was taught about global warming but never about the effects of plastic on our environment. I feel that we've been raised to see plastic as just part of our lives now and not taught the consequences of using it. A lot of people think plastic is so ingrained in our lives now that it's essential to live but we've managed without it before and we can do it again. Many of us don't think about it a lot. Plastic just appears and goes away, but it doesn't. Plastic takes between 500 to 1,000 years to break down, meaning every piece of plastic ever made still exists today. 40% of plastics are used for packaging, and 8 billion tonnes goes into the ocean every year and will outweigh all the fish in the ocean by 2050. But what effect does this have on wildlife? 90% of seabirds eat plastic or feed their chicks plastic, mistaking it for food, and die because their stomachs are full of undigestible rubbish. The plastic that ends up in the ocean crumbles into smaller and smaller pieces, making what is called microplastic. This microplastic is even more easily swallowed by all kinds of marine life, waking its way up the food chain and eventually landing on our plate. Eight out of 10 people in the world have plastic chemicals in their bodies, it seems we have lost control over plastic, which is scary to think about. But on the positive side of things, the issue of plastic pollution is being more and more talked about, and recently in the last year, 53% of people are using less plastic due to what is called the Attenborough effect. The London Marathon replaced 200,000 single-use water bottles with seaweed water pouches to reduce plastic waste. An increasing amount of countries are beginning to ban single-use plastics. But we still have a long, long way to go. Water fill-up stations need to become more popular in schools, workplaces and busy high streets so that people can reuse water bottles rather than throwing them out after one use. Plastic straws are getting all the attention lately, with cities like Vancouver and Seattle banning the use of them. Even major corporations like Starbucks and McDonald's have jumped on the environmental bandwagon and implemented their own plastic straw ban, citing ocean pollution. I really support the banning of plastic straws. However, cigarette butts are the single greatest source of ocean pollution, surpassing plastic straws, and no one seems to be talking about it. And unfortunately, I don't see them being banned anytime soon. If cigarette butts weren't already bad enough on the human body, they're also affecting our ecosystems. The filters in cigarettes are made of tiny plastic particles that take decades or more to decompose. Fishing is also a major problem when it comes to the environment. As I've previously mentioned, the toxins and plastic waste that ends up in fish can also end up in our bodies. But as well as this, plastic straws are 0.03% of total plastic waste by mass. Meanwhile, 46% of ocean debris is abandoned fishing equipment. If you want to boycott straws, you're making a small change and it is helping. But by boycotting fish, you are literally saving the ocean. Now I'm not going to sit here and tell you to go vegan and you know make your life choices for you but veganism is a great way to help out the environment and even just cutting back on your meat and dairy consumption like I'm trying to do at the moment will make a big change. As for today's charitable product, I'm going to be talking about 4Ocean bracelets. Again, I will be leaving some charities linked down below if you don't want to buy anything um, and you just want to, you know, donate to some charities. And if you don't have any money and you just want to help out in some way, I will also leave some petitions that you can sign down below that will help out the environment in some way. But getting back to the bracelets, the co-founders of 4Ocean, Alex and Andrew, have made it their mission to help the problem of plastic pollution in the oceans. They are the world's largest cleanup company and all of their cleanup efforts are funded entirely from the sales of their bracelets and the bracelets are actually made from 100% recycled material. They're actually made from the plastic and glass bottles that they collect on their cleanups, which I thought was pretty cool. Every bracelet they sell helps fund removing one pound of trash from the ocean. So by buying a bracelet, you literally are removing one pound of trash 
So it's nice to know what you've actually done by buying this bracelet. And they are actually really pretty as well. I think they look great. They have a nice little sterling silver for ocean logo on them. And they're waterproof, you know, you can wear them all the time. They're comfortable, they're adjustable. And I just think it's a great charity and a great way to help clean up the ocean. So if you do want to buy a bracelet, I will link the shop down below. If you're from the UK, specifically, you can buy them from Paper Tiger because shipping is a bit cheaper. But other than that, that is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and just thank you for being here if you have watched all the way through. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next one, which will actually be the last part of my environmental series. Um, so I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you then. Bye.